My first patient was a veteran who had schizophrenia. No one could figure out how to put this guy's life back together. I was so moved by this moment that I wanted to figure out how to take these same tools and these same approaches that have been used to reconnect soul to the mind as well, the soul to the brain, and to heal lives through that manner. We are essentially looking to create a pacemaker for the brain that finds or is used to target parts of the brain that are out of electrical rhythm and puts them back into a normal rhythm so that we can feel and think and experience life in the same way that those without neuropsychiatric disorders do. This idea that one can put energy back into the brain um, in the same way that a pacemaker puts energy into the heart is certainly becoming widespread. So it is a tremendous honor to be selected by Dr. Crone for this amazing award. But the greater honor has been the energy that he's put into developing me, such that I would even be in a position for him to select me for this award. And I think what is so powerful about the approach of the Brain and Behavioral Research Foundation is supporting innovation and creativity. And when you do that, you give people the room to think about a question a different way. We need experts that can tell us how in the world do you connect an organ that we can physically see, that we can dissect, that we can touch. How do you connect that with happiness? That is where the work has to be done. And it's so exciting to be at that boundary of neuroscience at this point in time.